Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to remind you that my book of short horror stories called The Things That Happen at Night is available at the link in the description for only $3. Also down in the description, you can find my four free short horror stories over on Wattpad. You can sign up for my newsletter and join me on all my social media. So be sure to check all those links out. Now let's get on with the video. All right. So the book we're going to be talking about today is a fun one. It's called The Bucket List by Mark Towsey and Chisto Healy. I think I'm pronouncing those names right. Uh, but this is one of those books uh, it, it, that's just fun to read. Uh, it's mainly about f three couples who all have different things on their bucket list. Uh, however, two of these couples wind up at the bread and breakfast of the third couple. And uh, we're going to find out that having something on your bucket list means something different for everybody. Because while these two couples find their way to this bread and breakfast, one couple is there because there's a storm, thunder, and lightning. The, <clears throat> the uh, road is washed out. And uh, they have no choice. They can't go to their destination. So they decide, well, here's a bread and breakfast in the middle of nowhere. We're just going to stay here. The other couple is a little bit younger. They're more of a rock and roll, heavy metal kind of couple. And uh, one of the things on their bucket list is to stay at a at a and b like that, a, bre a, a bed and breakfast. Because uh, it's not their thing. It's not something they normally do. Uh, but once these couples get there and they meet... Albie and Marge, these are the people that run the B&B, the B &B, and Albie and Marge are very different. They are an old couple. They are a geriatric couple, uh, and they were kind of weird, like large Marge is in charge. Let's put it that way. She's a big woman, an older woman, but she's big, built like a linebacker, and her husband, Albie, is uh, skinny and he's uh, subservient to her. Whatever she says to do, his favorite words are, yes, dear, yes, dear. And so the couples get the idea that there's something off about this this uh, old couple running this B&B right away. But, you know, it's storming, uh, the roads are washed out, and they all figure, you know what, it's only for one night. What could go wrong? Well, this is a horror book, so... <laughs> Of course, things are going to go wrong because we find out that Albie and Marge, they also have a bucket list, but their bucket list is less uh, visit the Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls and more along the lines of uh, I want to torture, chop up and eat people. As one does when you're a psychopathic serial killer. <laughs> and I love the way this book turns that, uh, the, uh, the psychopath on his head because now we're dealing with two old people, you know. But these are not weak, uh, ready for the nursing home old people. These, uh, these ones are pretty spry, pretty, uh, pretty agile, and they have a goal in mind. And uh, say what you want about the older generation, but once they set their mind to a goal, they are going to accomplish that goal. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to give too much away. This is a shorter book. I think it's like 126 pages. But man, it is a fun book. Uh, probably not for the victims. But I mean, for reading it as a horror fan, it's a fun book. It's, uh, it's got everything you could want, right? Uh, you got the bread and, bed, and, bed and breakfast out in the middle of nowhere. You got a dark and stormy night. You got two unsuspecting couples who are just trying to fulfill their bucket list. And then uh, both of these couples plow head first into uh, Albie and Marge, unfortunately. And uh, at dinner, Albie and Marge uh, drug the couples and each one wakes up. Each individual person wakes up either bound, chained, gagged or uh, incapacitated in a different part of the house, not knowing what's going on. Uh, but then the, the slashing begins. 
Uh, this uh, It's a good, bloody, fun time because people are going to be tortured. People are going to lose limbs. People are going to lose digits. And, of course, people are going to lose their lives. Uh, this is just one of those... This is just one of those books that reads like a like a slasher film. Uh, but like I said, that nice little twist of having the old people be the ones that are doing all the hacking and slashing and cutting and chopping. And and of course, the uh, they're they're cannibals. So uh, they have to eat what they harvest, I guess you could say. Uh, that's just a great little little twist on the genre. And I always love when when people can bring something new to the slasher genre because I love slashers. I love these fun little slasher books, and this one is no exception. I think I think uh, the length is perfect for this book. Uh, I'm all into. I'm all for the uh, the slow burn highly detailed world kind of story building that the longer books bring. But I think every book should be the length it should be to entertain the audience without overstaying its welcome. And you get that sometimes where a book just, it might be good, but it seems to just kind of go on a little longer than what it should, you know. But uh, every book should be the length it needs to be for its purpose. And this one is, uh, is dead on. It is perfect. Uh, for, for what it does. You'll never get bored. You'll want to keep turning the pages. <clears throat> and uh, uh, you just get uh, these nice visceral images uh, in your head as you're reading. And uh, this is a horror comedy. But trust me, the emphasis is more on the horror. But these characters are so uh, well written and so over the top sometimes, kind of, that they bring that comic relief in some of the things they do and some of the things they say, especially Halby and Marge. They have a very unique, uh, twisted, but unique relationship there. And uh, some of the things they do will have you laughing. But then, of course, uh, when uh, uh, later on you'll be like, oh, well, he's getting his leg chopped off, so I guess that wasn't too funny after all. <laughs> but you can't help it because that's how good the characters are written. Uh, this is just a, it's a fast-paced, gory, bloody, slasher, fun read. And uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I don't think it's getting as much love as it should. That's why I wanted to do a review on it. Because it's a it's a fantastic uh, slasher bloody book, and uh, if you like that kind of thing, this is one you definitely don't want to sleep on. You you definitely want to pick this one up and uh, uh, give it a read, uh, because they put a lot of they they've got this perfect blend of the the dark humor uh, mixed in along with the bloodshed. And uh, the story starts at a quick clip, and it just never lets up. I mean, it just keeps going so smoothly. And uh, there, there's no extra things to break up the flow of what's going on. And even though you know bad things are going to happen, when it finally does, you're still sitting there cringing, going, oh, my God, I can't believe they did this. Because there are some scenes where I was like, well, I knew they were going to be bad, but not quite this bad. <laughs> so <laughs> that's always a good thing, I think, in the world of horror. But anyway, yeah, I definitely recommend this book. Uh, go ahead and pick it up. There's a link down below where you can do that on Amazon. The Bucket List. Pick it up now. And as always, I want to say thank you for taking some of your time and spending it here with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And until we meet again, keep reading spooky, my friends. <laughs>